So he is in the bath, he is smoking and reading at the same time, he is quite the raccoon, quite good at multitasking it seems. <laughs> That's bad for you, you know, dude. Sorry, missed your call. Yeah, no problem. 27 on the buzzer. Okay, so no voice acting, but that's fine. All right, let's see here. Let's see what happens. Just enough time to clean up. All right, are we going on a mission? Do we have a case? So left stick to move around, A to interact with objects. Very simple so far. I like the little animation that's going on here, like with the coat just like moving back and forth and stuff. I'm not sure why he's bobbing exactly, but I like that. All right, so we're gonna look, see if we have many, oh, we can crouch as well. This must be like for the stealth stuff in the game. I'm not very good at stealth to be honest with you but I will do my best <laughs> all right so let's see what we have around here we have the living room let's see what stuff we can interact with the case files that should be a good start insurance frauds lost cars estranged lovers should probably get rid of some of these old case files yeah that would complicate things trying to find specific ones of course let's inspect our desk so we can drag and drop items some items can be picked up by pressing a so let's see what we have a <laughs> cereal he's been eating cereal I'm not even sure what's in there but it seems like he enjoyed it <laughs> so that's good it's in the way go away <laughs> I can't get rid of it all right what have we got can I interact with anything else here can I oh I can pick it up okay I'm not sure why I needed to pick that up but maybe I can like fill the bowl with something. I am not sure. I absolutely love points and click games, by the way. I'm not sure what it is about them. I think it's just that they're so story driven and I love just seeing the wacky things that people come up with. Like the last one I played was The Inner World and I think that's my favourite point and click game that I've played in a while. It was just so random and so quirky and it was a lot of fun. Very cool game indeed. Okay, so we're in the living room now. Let's see what we've got. We've got a media set. This damn thing stopped working a long time ago. Gotta hit Frankie up next time I'm in Fuzz Fuzzdale. I like that. <laughs> and when I have cash, so never. So we never have cash. We are a poor detective, it seems. I'm not sure why they decided to make the main character a raccoon, but I guess it's um, a bit different. Makes it a bit interesting, I suppose. All right, let's look at our notes. Call mum, buy soap, pay bills, don't die. Right, that sounds like a good motto, if you ask me. All right, what else have we got here? Can we do some cooking photochemicals? Okay, what have we got here? Leaving developers in the kitchen is a sure road to poisoning or a great soup. <laughs> All right then. Hard to get tired of this view. I can't actually see much out there. Um, I can see like leaves ivy across the window i can't really see much though um place dishes oh we can wash up i'll wash these later probably not you dirty untidy raccoon you <laughs> can't say i blame him i don't like doing the dishes either but i have to do them unfortunately i can't get out of my duties <laughs> um nothing to explore in the bathroom i don't think Let's just high towel it out of here. Oh wait, when you when I crouch, I didn't have that option before. The great apes, the great story, swell toilet read. <laughs> he reads on the toilet. Perfect. Good idea, dude. I don't seem to be able to stand back up again for some. Ah, there we go. So I wonder if I crouch, maybe I'll have some different options. So I swear down, I didn't get that option when I was st standing up. So maybe like it was too low or something. So maybe I should make sure to crouch a little bit. I look so stealthy right now. <laughs> All right, can I, what What can I do? I don't know what, what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, I can place chemicals. Okay, we'll do that. Everything knows its proper place. <laughs> okay then. That must be Mrs. Green. What? Oh, was there someone at the door? Oh, I think I have my sound a bit too low. I'm going to turn my sound up a bit. All right, that's a bit better. Hopefully, I'll be able to hear the sound effects now. It's actually quite quiet. The music is quite quiet for sure. It's really pretty though. All right, well, let's open the door and see what happens here. All right, here we go. We have um, some lady here. I think she's a squirrel, I think. 
So all the people in this world must be animals, so that's cool. Uh, excuse me, I'm looking for a Detective Lotor. We spoke on the phone, so we have lots of different dialogue options here, which is very nice to see. I gather you have a case for me, Mrs. Green, or at your service, Mr. Green, how's your day going? That's me, you were vague before, so tell me everything. I'm gonna say, at your service, how was your day? Oh, um, truth be told, my back's killing me. Pregnancies put real pressure on the spine, and please, Odette is fine. Okay, your first kid, you got it, how can I help you? You didn't say much when we spoke before, let's say, how can I help you today? I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. All right, I'm listening. He just hasn't been himself lately, getting home at odd hours, making weird excuses. Okay, you suspect he's cheating on you? Let's see. That's probably what she's going for here. I wonder if this is going to be like multiple cases or if it's going to be like one big case that we're just going to work on throughout the game. I'm not sure, there's not really any information about that, so I'm not sure. I think so, but I'd need real proof, right, to go to the courts. Court? Are you filing for a divorce? Tell me about the affair, I'll get you proof. I need his picture and some information about his routine. I'm not really sure how these dialogue options affect what actually happens here. I feel like most of the responses say almost the same thing. So it, while it is nice we have dialogue options, I just feel like they're not going to actually change much, <laughs> if that makes sense. All right, let's see. Tell me about the affair. What do you need to know? Um, what made you... I, maybe we could get more information, though, through these dialogue options. I don't know. All right, let's see. What made you think he's not faithful? He was always a private kind of man. Now he started getting home late, missing work, and smelling funny. Okay, what kind of smell? I don't know if I want to know. Like perfume, and not mine. Alcohol, smoke, and something poignant. A kind of herbal stink. Interesting. All right. And you caught him lying? Well, he's just so bad at it. Wasn't much of a liar when we first met. Or at least I thought so. Hmm. How late are we talking? Way past the kid's dinner time. I asked him what he was doing. It didn't go well. Has he been aggressive? I can't see how this is pertinent to Mr. Lotor. Um, okay, I think this is an important question if you ask me. Personal details can make or break a case. Yes, I want to know. I don't see how this would help you take a photo of my husband. I have to know how he thinks. Give me the info already, man. Fine, he has a mean temper, unpredictable. That's all you need to know. Oh my god, has he been abusing her as well? Savage. Okay, let's talk about court then. He wants to file for a divorce. That's right, and above all, I need something damning enough that custody won't even be a question. Oh, okay, so this is about the kids as well, that makes sense. Okay, your husband wants the kids? I, I can't take any chances anymore, but has he said or done something to make you think that he would? All right, I think we do get some extra information from these dialogue options, so that is cool, but I don't think they're the kind of dialogue options that affect what's actually happening. I do like to get some extra information, though. This is a separate issue, one I don't want to dig up right now. I need every edge I can get. He has threatened to take them, yes. Daisy and Elliot shouldn't have to go through all this. I'm doing what it takes to protect their future. Right, okay, well, we don't actually know if he's cheated yet. He might not have, you never know. Maybe it's something else entirely. Maybe he's making drugs if he smells herbal. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I know this isn't easy, but it's right. Right. Yes, I'm finally being brave, for them at least. I'll need a picture and information about his routine. All right, what does he look like? Here's a photo. He's an otter, of course. Oh, is she an otter? I thought she was a squirrel, but okay. A little stockier than you. He wears glasses, square ones, and his wedding band as far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black briefcase to and from work. All right. What's his full name? He, he is called Jeremy Green and people call him Jez. All right, where would I find him? Usually at work or at home. Have you met any of his friends? No, but he mentioned a few guys. Says they get together after work sometimes. How would I pick him out of a crowd? He wears a suit and a green tie. Where does he work? At the, the, woo, the Woof Bank. Lovely. Okay, I'll write his address down for you. 
Okay, that's enough. Just the matter of my monies. I can give you 100 now and 50 where you're done. All right, cool. Let's do this. Let's take on this case. Please be careful. If this gets out, I'm as good as dead. Holy moly. I understand I'll get started immediately. Call you later tonight. You can trust me. Yes, you can trust me, girl. Don't let me down. I trust you with my life, of course. Okay, I'll call you later tonight. Let's get on this case then. Let's do this. So now we have a new objective. I wonder if there's now some kind of like menu for this. No, there doesn't seem to be. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's go and look for this person then, I suppose. Let's get our detective hat on, look for some evidence. Oh wow, the town is gorgeous. I love this. Wow, that's really cool. I really love this. Okay, so let's go see. Um, Granville. Smells like wet concrete. Overpriced fast food and puke. Oh, beautiful. My kind of battleground. ground. Lovely, dude. I love all the different, like, creatures here as well. What have we got here? Oh, you're a squirrel. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yo, old man. All right, take a look at this photo. Have you seen this guy? Nah, man. Even if I had, why would I tell you? Yeah? How's your day so far? Just hanging. What's up with you? Um, you could say I'm hanging too. From my hanging to yours, peace bro. All right then, goodbye. See you later. Next person is... Oh, I can't talk to everyone. Okay. Fair enough. Furman, one slick silver-tongued devil of a mountain lion. When I go crazy and kill someone, I hope I can afford him. Right, a lawyer's office. All right, we got one right next door. Wow, okay. Posters. The day I brought a bike, the life of a young, handsome ape turns to shambles when he crosses path of a dangerous man and he does it on his bike. Right, okay, I guess that's a movie of some kind, sure. We got a dude here, a beaver, I think. Hey, if it isn't Mr. Owie, what's a rascal like you up to this fine evening? I'm looking for someone. You got a minute? You know, I have a terrible memory for faces, but hey, want to hear a good story? Uh, sure. So, my wife Estrella and I, we got a second lad on the way. Ah, congratulations. Thanks, he's a big one too. Essie is round as a watermelon, right? So I tell her, huh, woman, you get any bigger and I won't be able to fit you in the trunk of my car. <laughs> that's very insulting, you know. <laughs> um, don't you think that's kind of mean? Exactly. And so, <laughs> she turns to me with the eyes of a killer and says, Give me the bread, honey. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, woman. Gosh, typical. I know, right? Woman, mysterious creatures. They love bread. What? <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess. I like bread. Who doesn't like bread? So, we break the news to our boy Victor. Son, you're gonna have a bro soon. And he's like, oh no, a bro. What is it? Dare I ask what you told him? Okay, I really want to know. So I tell him, Mama and Papa worked hard, so the apes just let us have another baby. Baby boy, just like you. <laughs> All right, mm-hmm. Little Victor, poor soul, starts laughing. Oh, Daddy, we're going to be so happy. Baby bro and I are going to play all the time. And I say, sure, son, but there's a catch. Okay, what's the catch? You and Mama are going to have to look after him because two babies means zero daddies because Daddy has to work four shifts instead of two. Damn, that is not, that's not funny, dude. Why would you say that to your, to your child? Yeah, um, that got depressing. I'll manage, I'll manage. Now, what did you say you were doing here? Yeah, I got completely dis distracted, but in a good way. Like, this dude was quite funny. I enjoyed this conversation. <laughs> yeah, I seen him. Barrel of laughs kind of guy. Smell really bad. Took him back to the bites a couple of times. Oh, okay. So, this guy's seen him. Cool. Okay, did you ever talk to him, see anything strange? Nah, he was too wasted to talk most of the time. His smell did enough talking for the both of us. All right, what did he smell of? Ah, you know, poopy kind of smell. Right. <laughs> Stale booze and perfume, herbs, awful, awful stuff. All right, where's he gone? Guess the bite is, is as good as a guess as any. It's a goopy place though, eh? All right. Uh, thanks, you're a detective best friend. My regards to Estella. Take care, my man. That was a cool dude. He had quite the personality for sure. I liked talking to him. All right, he did a great job restoring the Vogue. If people watched more movies, maybe the world wouldn't be so sad. How do you figure? <laughs> 
what? <laughs> if that was all it would take to make the world a happier place, then wouldn't that mission already be accomplished? We have so many movies in the world these days. <laughs> I don't know about that. All right, so we have a poster here. Eden Summons is a rising jazz star. She's at the bite. Oh, maybe I'll actually see her. I'm going to the bite anyway. So there's a bank here. Woof Bank. Is this where Green works? It could be. It could be a good place to check. There's a banker over here. Yeah. Uh, how are you doing? Why do you care? God, it's really grumpy. Let's say, is Jez around? Let's be like really casual about this. And who are you? Oh, so you know him. Asshole owes me money. Do I really want to say that? Mm. Or we could say private detective Howard Lota. Mm. None of your business. Let's go with that. Hey, Jem, don't get excited. Or are you looking for trouble? Are you? Because I could give it to you. Let's go at him. <laughs> Listen, lumpy. Better split before I wash your face. Righto? <laughs> what? Okay. You're cruising for a bruising, brother. <laughs> Cut the gas, asswipe. What say you boys? Should we give this one a good beating, eh? Your one hip cat got the guts to face me without your boys. You better get ready, jerk. I'm about to give you a ticket to across the wall. Yeah? Aren't your claws manicured? I love these insults. They're not worth it. Come on, boys. This striper will find his end soon enough. That's what I thought. That's what I thought, dude. Move on, move on. We totally intimidated him. We totally won that one. <laughs> okay, the bite. So this is where we need to go. Might not quite fit in with this fancy crowd. Thankfully, I'm a charming boy. Righto. Okay, let's see if we can get in here. No entrance for raccoons. Goodbye. You're speciesist. That's not very nice, you know. Perhaps a couple of loons would change your mind. Is that currency? That's probably currency. My friend Carlos, Carlos is waiting inside. I'm sure we can arrange something, big boy. What do you need? Let's, uh, let's like bribe him or something. I'd be more careful with my mouth if I were you, a tiny striper man. Oh, you just call him little striper man. But he's cool though. All right, let's see if we can do some other options. Can I get inside? Still no, don't ask again. Well, it was worth a try. How are we going to get in there? So right trigger to run. Cool. So we have a run button, it seems. There's an alleyway here. Is this a good place to look? I don't know. Might be able to find a way in through like the back entrance or something. Hello, Mr. Larry dude. He's a raccoon too, I think. Howard? Well, I'll be damned. Is that you? Do I know you? Is that how it is now? I see. Excuse me, I don't understand. All right, it's Larry, remember? What are you doing here? I think he's crazy, I don't know. Oh, okay, have you seen an auto guy around here? What did he do? Uh, don't know. Can't tell, client confidentiality. Yeah, let's go with that. Must be a shifty guy, what's he like? He's about my height, chubby, wears a green hat. Let's just give him the photo, that would be easier. <laughs> Haven't seen him, sorry. Let me know if you need anything. I'm here often and hear people talk. All right, I got a lead, but the bouncer won't let me into the bites. Tough break. It's really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. Oh, that's mean. <laughs> Any ideas how I could get in? What you could do is ask Johnny. He'd know better than me. All right, who's Johnny? <laughs> Squirrel kid with the leather jacket. He's a pusher. I don't entirely know what his deal with the bite is, but they're chummy. I don't know um, if I've spoke to him. Wait, was he the really grumpy dude who we almost had a fight with? Maybe it was him. Might take some convincing, but he's chill. I've seen him help people cut the line, his clients, I think. Right, what sort of stuff does Johnny sell? Your typical, like, hype and shatterfang. What? Oh, get this. He started rolling out something called monkey butts. Who comes up with these names? It's like they don't want you to do drugs. Monkey butt. Yeah, word is this new thing's the shizzle. I'm trying not to swear too much. YouTube doesn't like it. Though perhaps a bit less figuratively than one might wish. A stanky thing. Does it have kind of a herbal stink? I've no first-hand experience, but I guess that could be a more delicate way to put it. So it was drugs. I was totally right. I don't even... I just guessed that too. Okay, so what do you know about the bite? Owner's a bloodworth, so lots of rumours are floating about about the whole ordeal. Uh, the bear family. Oh, okay. Crime family. Had lots of friends in high places. Then the head of the family up and dies. 
and Shizzle hits the fan. Air ended up dead too in the aftermath. Okay, what's the owner doing? People say she's taking back the whole operation piece by piece, starting with the bite. Okay, so hopefully we'll be able to get in now. You got it, Howard. A welcome distraction, really. See you soon? Sure, dude, sure, dude. There's a mouse over there. All right, there's an intercom. No answer. I wonder if there's multiple ways to actually, like, gain access to this place or if it's just the one. I'm not sure. Don't share my fleas. What? Okay, random stuff on the wall here. I can't use the intercom, unfortunately. Let's just go back then because there's nothing here to, to do right now. Can I go in here? What madman would pay for something they could just do at home with a pair of scissors? I mean, you're not wrong, but like, it's not as professional. Shoot, that's Downey right there in the police booth. He'll eat my brains out if he sees me. Can I? Oh, we have to sneak because we don't want him to see us. What would happen if he did see us? I want to, I want to know what happens. Howard, come over here, boy. Um, hi, Downey. <laughs> hey, little one, what are you up to? Have you found a job yet? Um, no, no, I haven't. When are you going to make up your mind, doofus? Your mother is worried and she's not getting any younger. It's none of your business. I got us. I gotta go. Say hi to Aunt Lydia. I see. When you end up in jail, don't call me. Call your mum instead. Yeah, yeah. Bye. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we can find in this town. I really love the atmosphere of this. It's absolutely fantastic. Old owners still tending to the shop. I should say hi before he gets driven out by Yumi Marts. Maybe next time. Right, okay. I love how there's like loads of people walking about as well. Very cool. So, Mackenzie and Sons. Rich people clothes. One sock is more expensive than my whole outfit. One sock. Wow. <laughs> Foxy Burger. Once I got punched by a guy in a fedora who then puked all over my new coat. Ah, the memories this place brings. Lovely, dude. Lovely. All right, what's this? Garbage bin. Ew, don't go in there. Let's see. Socks, takeaway boxes, cigs. Aha, a ticket to the bite. Thanks, trash bin. Ha ha. I'm sure there's multiple ways. I'm pretty sure there is. I could have, like, convinced that guy at the front who, or, who we almost had a fight with, or we could just find this ticket, maybe. I'm assuming, anyway. So that's really cool. Good day to you, friend. Fancy some fresh news? Uh, sure, shoot. For a half loon, you can read them all with your own eyeballs. All right, cool. Let's, let's buy one. Front page today's Great Ape Parade preparations underway. Celebration starts Friday. Right, how's business? Well, you tell me. People want their damn news for free and damn hawkers don't help any. Hawkers? What are hawkers? You know, peddlers. They haul their rickety improvised stands around and collect all the profits with Nari a permit. Uh, the police booth is right there. I've tried reporting them before. By the time an officer gets here, the hawkers are smoke. Fast, tiny legs. Why does it bother you so much? Um because they don't worry about bills or allowance, so they can afford to sell cheap, undercut, honest businessmen. That sucks. All right, then. Um, I've got to go. I'll bet my tail that that damn rodent with the seeds will be arriving any minute now. God, these options, though. <laughs> you can be entitled. <laughs> wow. Okay, uh, you have at least one loyal customer. Yeah, me. Well, how about you buy something then? I've got nibbles, fizzy drinks. Actually, I just remembered I gotta go. <laughs> Loyal customer, my ass. <laughs> well, excuse me. Well, good luck, dude. Good luck. <laughs> that's all I have to say to you. All right, so that's the end of this little map. At least we can run from, you know, area to area because it would probably take a long time to, you know, travel otherwise. So at least we have that. So that's nice. All right, so let's go in. I got a ticket now. So here we go. Let's do this. You're a funny little fella. What? Why? Can I get in? It's a dirty piece of paper you found in a dumpster. So no, but thanks for a good laugh. Oh, I thought that would work. Maybe there's not options to get in then. I thought that would work. Um, do you want to hear another joke? No, don't test my patience. <laughs> a bear and a raccoon walk into a bar. <laughs> You're no fun, bye. 
<laughs> well, worth a try. Okay, uh, so there was a guy out here that we could talk to. I just don't know where he's gone. Yo, old man, are you Johnny? Who's asking? <laughs> Name's Wallace. <laughs> uh, I am. Yeah, that's me. What's it to you? Uh, you heard you got monkey butt? Where did you get that stupid idea? Um, uh, well, it goes around. Will you help me out? Look, old man, you couldn't handle that stuff even if I did have it. Alright, but you know where to get it. Okay, you know what I mean? Just get me past the bouncer. Yes, just get me past the bouncer. What's in it for me? There is a lot of swearing in this. It seems definitely like a mature kind of game. Not that there's anything wrong with that at all. I think it works with this setting, for sure. I don't think it's doing it needlessly. I actually think it works. Johnny gets to not be introduced to the cops. He's very sarcastic. He's a very sarcastic raccoon. You're really trying to threaten me. More like encouragement. <laughs> See that police dog down the street? That's my friend and he'd love to sniff your pockets. You feel me? You feel me, bruh? I'll get you in, but only so you overdose and get eaten alive by feral geese. Lovely. All right, meet me at the entrance. All right, let's do this. We now have our entry into the bite. So let's see what awaits us in there. I'm actually really looking forward to seeing what the place is like inside. All right, so I'm ready, dude. Uh, here's Johnny. They had to, didn't they? They had to. All right, awesome. Let's go inside. You just can't have a Johnny without using that. It's just fate. <laughs> okay, here we are inside. I wonder if we're going to see that singer. Jazz, alcohol, beautiful canine ladies, all a little too high end for my taste. And very, very smoky. Lots of smoke here. Alright, so we've got Renee. I don't think this is our dude, but let's talk to him. Well, you're unusual. Hey, uh, <laughs> I would take that as a compliment. I think, as you will, though it was just an observation. Renee Wilson. Why is there like three different names? One is fake, right? Because our name is Lotor. Let's give our real name. That's a fake name? You're too young for a Howard? What, really? I thought he was using a fake, fake name, but I thought he was called Lotor. I don't know. This music's nice. Maybe you're the one giving out fake names and you're projecting it onto me. It's like reverse psychology. He's like turning it around. It's actually you. Interesting theory, but I can back mine up. See, business cards don't lie. Could be an elaborate ruse. It's all a conspiracy. <laughs> you had those printed to dupe even the skeptics. Oh my God. To what end, I wonder? Renee Wilson is a mask. You wear it well, but your true persona is slipping through the cracks. This guy is paranoid, dude. The intrigue. What am I running away from? Um, you are running from yourself. I can't decide if that's deep or cliched. I'm going to keep the card. <laughs> By all means, if you run into something newsworthy, you know who to call. An investigative journalist. How's that gig? It's a living, usually. Alright then, have you seen an auto gentleman here? No, but I only sat down a minute ago. Alright, it was lovely to meet you, you interesting dude. Alright, so we have Colby here. Let's talk to this lovely doggy. She's cute. Hey there, you're here for Eden Simmons' show? I'm happy to see her live. No, I'm looking for a friend. Here's the photo. Oh, I don't know. Maybe, but I wasn't paying close attention. I couldn't be sure. Right, okay... Did you say Eden Simmons is playing? Well, I'm probably a bit biased, but yeah, she's great. All oh, right, you sound like a big fan. I got a record player just for her. Wow, this must be set real far back then. She's mostly all I listen to. This is the first time you're catching her live? Huh, <laughs> nah, my mum doesn't approve of the place. Had to do a bit of sneaking to be here tonight. Uh, how come? Uh, I don't think she's stepped in a bar in her life. This place is about 10 times sleazier in her head. <laughs> okay, hard to imagine that, right? Great music and great dining, nothing sleazy about that, especially great music. Ha! <laughs> well, you can be sure if you stay for the whole show. You know, I had to do my share of sneaking to be here tonight. Colour me intrigued. If not for the music, what are you sneaking around for? Can you keep a secret? All oh, right, I'm, an imp I'm a private investigator. No way! What's the case? 
confidential. I think I saw someone like that walk in. Oh, we're getting a lead. We're getting somewhere. Did you see where he went? Was his hat green? <laughs> What's his obsession with his hat? Was his hat green? Yes, and so is his tie. I thought that was funny. Okay, did he have a brief briefcase with him? I'm not sure. Okay, did you see where he went? I saw him come in and talk to the Afghan lady in the jade coloured dress. Okay, I don't think I've seen her yet. Audrey, so is this is this the famous person? I don't know. Actually, I think she's just singing. Um, isn't this dreamy? Well, you sure are. Wow. <laughs> God, I love this music. You want to dance with me? Hmm, sorry. No, he's just trying to pick up dogs. <laughs> um, can you at least answer a couple of questions? Not really. Leave me alone. Um, okay. She, she's not interested at all. Okay. Well, we have Ingrid over here. She looks very classy. Well, hello there, honey. To what do I owe the pleasure? Um, do you work here? You really are new here, huh? I'm part of the Bite family, sure. You have the air of a host hostess about you, but you've not greeted anybody. I'm a hostess of sorts, but I don't work for the bar. Okay, so what else is here apart from the bar? That kind of information is exclusive. Oh, damn. Okay. Not even if I beg and bat my eyelashes. <laughs> Fine, I can't disappoint such a charming gent. Okay, an elite membership club invitation only. Oh boy, I bet our man is in there. Okay, more elite than having to convince your bouncer to let me in. Hank's a big softy, he's just protective. Okay, it's his job to be selective. They got a reputation to maintain. Well, we came to an understanding eventually. Okay, I'll bite. How did you manage that? Hank is more stubborn than a drunk ox. Johnny helped me. So that's what this is all about. You've got a sweet tooth. What can I say? You got me all figured out. I can help, but sugar, you're gonna need some real loon. We only have the best here. Oh, I know. I'll be good for it soon. Just wanted to say hi first. All right, I wonder how much money we actually need to gain access to that. So now we have Clarissa. She looks very posh indeed. You look a little lost. Uh, is it that obvious? It is to me. Okay, what gave it away? You've been wagging that tongue of yours to anyone who so much has made eye contact. Well, you got me there. Is that all? You're not exactly dressed for a sorry, darling. How rude. My tux is at the dry cleaners. <laughs> and what brings you here tonight? You're not a troublemaker, are you? Uh, what if I was? I'd have Hank show you the door. Troublemakers are bad for business. Usually. I'll be on my best behaviour. <laughs> Somehow I'm not reassured. I'm a raccoon in a trench coat. Does that really say troublemaker to you? Sound logic. If somewhat strange. And how should I address you, Mr. Raccoon? Ladies first. Ah, so you like to be the one in control. I can assure you that won't work in our relationship, okay? My name is Wallace. Pleasure is mine. And what do you do for a living, Wallace? Um, I... I'm a photographer. My turn then? I'm Clarissa Bloodworth. I own the bite. Oh, she's the manager. Okay, if I'd have known, I'd be more mindful of my manners. No need to stand on ceremony with me, darling. As you say, so do you have any specialties here? Folks say that our chef's dishes are to die for. Otherwise, just relax and enjoy the show. Eden's voice is something else. All right, I'm looking for a dude called Jeremy Green. And you were just meeting him for a quiet drink? Uh, yeah, we got a lot, lot of catching up to do. Darling, I think you're lying to me. Why would I be lying? Mr. Wallace, if that's your real name. Playing coy clearly doesn't suit you. How does she know? I suggest you take your business elsewhere. What have I done? Sorry, darling, that's how the world works. Sometimes you don't understand things and they still happen to you. Perhaps we'll be seeing each other again. Have a great night. Uh, okay, did she just kick me out? For real? Uh... That went badly. That could have gone better. Um, okay. She's hiding something. Green is in there. I just need to find another way in. So there is more other ways in. Oh, okay. But it's like not what I was expecting. It's like part of the story and not like optional, if that makes sense. I thought it was going to be optional. So we have an intercom here. Still no answer. There's different people here though now. Um, it's changed slightly. We have a truck here. Can I go inside? The door is open. I can break in. Okay, the interior is filled with cardboard boxes and smells like rust. There is a weird looking recording device on the dashboard. 
the compartment seems to be unlocked. All right, let's open the compartment. We find a couple of newspapers and documents that look like invoices or checks. All right, let's look at the invoices. They all mention a company called Starling Cider and this company has purchased unnamed goods from Bite Foods. The most recent purchase is supposed to be happening today. Okay, let's look at the newspapers. Two newspapers for September and October. They don't look like anyone was reading them though. All right, read the headlines. Um, an epidemic continues, geese may be spreading disease. Okay, vicious wall attack leaves three defenders wounded, one dead. Oh boy, this is bad. All right, I think we have seen everything here. Try to use the device. It's a voice recording device hardwired into a truck dashboard, probably set for surveillance. You might be able to print out the recordings if you enter the correct dates. Right, select dates from invoices and newspapers. I think we're getting somewhere. Got three packages for you. Geese, damn you, I can't fit that many. We expected you two hours ago. Continue being an ass and I'll leave. Okay, that didn't give us any leads there. Five packages ready for pickup. That's all I can fit in the truck. You're four hours late, leave me alone. All right, I guess I'll leave. Nothing there really. I guess maybe it'll help us in dialogue or something. Who is this Florence? Little cute rabbit. She looks like she's her arm or something. Are you all right? I'm fine. What's it to you anyway? You don't look fine. I'm just trying to help. Said I'm fine. Get lost. Okay, you whack of the bite. What kind of game are you playing now? I told you I'm not leaving till I get her back. What? Get who back? <laughs> right. Make like you don't know. Not fooling me. No, sir. I'm on to you and I'm not moving from this spot till you let me talk to my daughter. You're looking for your daughter? Okay. I'm no fool. I know she's in there, but she doesn't want to talk to me. No, that's not... They won't let me see her. Okay, is she at the bite? I'll keep an eye on her if I manage to get in. You're not one of them thugs? No. What thugs? I'm just here minding my own business. What sort of business? Need to find a way into that building. Can you help me? Maybe, I mean, not really. Try the code at the door, but damn filthy slugs won't let me in. I just want to talk to her. Okay, uh, what code? I memorized it. Great fire damning me. I looked at the wrong schedule. Let me in. My daughter's in that filthy... Ugh, they won't let me talk to her. All right, uh, why won't they let you talk to her? Says she doesn't want to talk to me, but they're lying, and I know it. They just want to keep her... They just want to keep it all hushed up like. Okay, what's she doing in there? Kid decides she's going to make it all on her own. Lands herself in a whorehouse. Oh my god. Stupid. Oh, they're drugging her. I know it. They won't let her see her own mother. My poor baby. Damn. It just got real. <laughs> I'll keep an eye out for her if I get in. What does she look like? Uh, grey fur. Name's Rosie. No, name's Rose. Drives her nuts when I call her Rosie. She just turned 20, you see. Didn't want to be a kid anymore. How can you be a, a kid at 20? <laughs> That's way past a kid. Oh, if they hurt a single whisker on my baby's face, I swear I'm gonna burn this ditch to the ground. Um, okay, I'll do my best to find her. Thank you. Tell her I'm waiting out here. Do you know any other way in? No, I've heard voices up on the roof, but how'd you get there? All right, um, I'll find a way. Please, if you see my daughter, just tell her I need to see her, please. Right, okay, she is very worried. Um, she's a good mum, it seems. Okay, the intercom's working now. Where have you been? We expected you two hours ago. Great fire, damn me. Let's use the code. Is this a prank? Get out. Okay, I guess that was wrong. Damn it. All right, let's see. Let's say ready to load. Okay, that was wrong as well. Do I even have the password? Get out and calling security. Can you buzz me in? Oh, okay, that worked. Whatever. We got one package today. Okay, good. Let me in then. Get out and calling security. You gotta be really specific of this. Great, ready to load. Come in and wait in the laundry. I'll bring them over once they're ready. Okay, yeah, we made, we got in, we got access. Awesome. That wasn't too hard. We we got this, we got this. All right, there's a lift there. There is some dirty pots. There is, might be, that might be next area or something. Let's look at the dirty pots. This 
doesn't look very clean. I wouldn't eat here even if they didn't kick me out. <laughs> well, that's true. I wouldn't want to eat if there's got dirty dishes. Packaging lift going downstairs needs a turnkey, right? I'm sure we can find one somewhere. Let's see what's through here. Oh, we're back inside. You failed? Don't get caught next time. Oh, um, okay. Can I sneak? Do you think I could sneak or something? I'm not here. You can't see me. Let's sneak up there. Oh, that actually worked. I didn't think that would work. <laughs> that was amazing. Okay, now we gotta go incognito. So X to crouch. Enemies can't hear you when you crouch and don't see you behind dark objects. Okay, so it is cool that we got some stealth stuff here. Green must be in one of these rooms. I have to be careful not to get caught. And it doesn't seem like, it doesn't seem too difficult so far. So that's good. Like, it seems like light stealth. So that's good because I'm not very good at this kind of thing. Uh, I don't seem to be... Can I hide behind this pot? I don't know where to hide. Uh, am I hidden? Okay, I'm hidden. No, I'm not. <laughs> I thought I was hidden for a second. Damn. Okay, I'll have to be careful. All right, I'm behind the couch this time. <laughs> Look at that photo. Is that couch supposed to be, like, naked or something? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. I don't know if there's any more guards, so um, hopefully I don't get seen. Oh, there's a private room. Let's go in here. I missed him. He's just been here. I can smell the monkey, but maybe he left something behind that could help Odette. All right, let's have a look. We've got the green hat here. Green's green hat. Wow. Okay. Herbs. That must be monkey butt. To be honest, I imagine something nastier than herbs, but oh boy, it stinks. <laughs> Great. Okay, we've got a picture here. A green tie is stuck behind the frame. What if I budge it? All right, do it. What the? A secret lift and green went inside there? I wonder what's on the other side. Can we go in? I might just as well take a shot. Get in there and press a button, find the guy, or maybe something more exciting. The club is definitely hiding something. Go, go, go. I want to see what's in there. I want to see what this dude is hiding. I wonder what he's got hidden away in here. Oh, okay. Well, it doesn't look like anything too spectacular right now, but maybe we just need to explore. Let's go this way. Uh, dude, go this way. <laughs> he didn't want to for a second. Oh, it's really bright in here. A freezer? Green wanted an ice cream? I don't, I don't know. That seems a bit simple. Greg, if you're going to swipe stuff for the girls, you need to make a note or you mess up the inventory. Right, okay. An intercom here. It's an intercom connected to the other rooms in the building. There is a list of extensions close to close by. I don't know if do I want to dial any of these numbers? I'm not sure. There's a door here, closed, but the hatch is wide open. Come on. So don't we want to dial the kitchen? Kitchen listening, <laughs> you suck. I want to order a large pizza, pineapple on top. Best kind of pizza, hands down. Best pizza ever. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. Wait, who is this? All right, uh, yeah, that was the wrong number, I think. Why can't I ring now? I can't ring. Uh, okay. Oh, I took some honey. Oh no, he's coming. <gasps> oh God, run. I didn't think he would actually come. That sucks. The controls are stuck. I can't go back. Can I go back? Maybe he's gone. Oh, he's gone now. Thank God he just gives up really easily. So that's good. Oh, he's come back. Oh no. <laughs> I thought he was gone. Oh damn. Okay. Um, I don't know if I'm meant to dial or anything. I'm not sure. But I don't know what else to do, so... Let's dial freezer. It's the same intercom you're using. Alright, what about packaging? Nobody picks up. The bar? A boy is speaking at the bar. Greg, are you stuck in the freezer again? Uh, yes. For ape's sake, call the kitchen. Someone will get to you. Okay. It's Greg, I'm stuck in the freezer again. <laughs> Hold up, I'm coming. Okay, here he comes. I think somebody's coming. All right, run. Run for it. Maybe he'll go in the freezer. I don't know. Is he coming? I don't know, I'm scared. I'm scared, don't see me. Oh, he's here. What am I meant to do? I don't even know. Oh, I was supposed to sneak into the room. I, I didn't realise. <laughs> I was a little bit lost there. Okay, awesome. Uh, all right, let's see where this leads then. So now we are in the kitchen. Two cooks ahead. I can't get caught now. All right, awesome. We've got a mixer here. 
Maybe this will like distract them or something. All right, awesome. Good job, good job, dude. All right, now we'll sneak across. Awesome stuff. And we got another mixer over here so we can distract him over to the other side. Oh God, there's a guy looking. Um, what to do about that? Oh, oh, oops. I don't know why he stood up. I didn't mean to. I must have pressed it by accident. My bad. This guy is looking the opposite way now. I'm not sure why, but either way, no matter what I do, he's gonna see me. So I need to find some other distraction for him. Not sure how. Shall I just try it? Let's just try walk past him. See what happens. Oh, the door is right there. <laughs> Oh wait, I got through. What? I don't know how I did that, but okay, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> sure, okay, we have a locker here. Gregory, could you maybe keep your papers on your locker? Maybe... <laughs> that picture though. Um, can I take it? Or I think I can just move it about. All right, can I open this? No, apparently not. All right, I can move all these so I can see like all the things a little better. So that's cool. So that's Apes Delight. We got a random map here. We got a random ball court over there. The Citizen Rising Star Andrew West pushes trawlers to final versus starlings. We got a random card there. A nice little photo. Some tickets of some kind. I've already read that. I don't know what these random pieces of paper are for with holes in. I don't know. Some kind of ticket. Another little thing. What's this? Is this like some special code or something? Square circle diamond triangle? I don't know. Okay, let's back out of that. I'm sure that'll be used for something later. Let me see. Oh, there's a code lock here. Was it for that? Oh, it's numbers. Hmm. Okay, we also have a lift, but it needs a turn key. Okay. Do you think this thing with holes in is like some of some weird like code thing when you put it over the numbers and you get like the secret code? Aha, look. Perhaps this is part of the code. Maybe it's a... Uh... Maybe it's a one. I don't know. <laughs> Just guessing. <laughs> so one, four, perhaps. Maybe five, because it's on this card. I honestly don't know. Or a zero. Not sure. I'm just going to try some stuff. Oh, I got it. <laughs> So I was on the right lines. I was just like punching the numbers in on the wrong order. So that's awesome. <laughs> That's really cool. So the code was like actually on the locker. You just had to find it. I didn't even use a guide. Usually I would use a guide for that kind of thing. So quite proud of myself. <laughs> Although I don't know if there would be a guide for it because like it's only a demo. I have no idea, honestly. It wasn't too difficult. So that's nice. At least, you know, it's something that you can find out easily. So that's good. All right. So what's around here? Anything here? Oh, it's really dark in here. Really dark. What's that? Is that a person? I think I see a person. Yeah, look, there's a person. Oh gosh. Oh my, what? Yes, indeed. What is going on? Green's dead. Oh my god. Okay, this is way more. This case is way more. Okay, we have to hide. This case is way more than I thought it would be. All right, then. Where should I hide? What's that? Wait, stand up. Dude, what's that? Oh, okay. I found somewhere to hide. All right, awesome. I thought I could just hide behind the table. <laughs> But I guess not. All right, some dude's coming. What's he doing? Oh man, there's been a murder. <laughs> this is not good. What, what's that? Greg here. No, I'm still working on a cut. Oh, okay, coming. Oh boy, these people are up to no good for sure. There is definitely more going on in this club. That just got dark real quick. Okay, he's gone. Can can we come out? Okay, okay, we're all right. Okay, let me see. Can I inspect this? Sorry, Jez. Even you didn't deserve this. Nobody does. All right, so we have a key over here. Let's take this. Could be useful. All right, there we go. The turn key. Maybe I'll make it out alive. I hope so. What are we going to say to the person who asked for this case? <laughs> Delivery order bites food to Starling Cider Limited. Interesting. All right, let's go. We can run past this little area. So yes, we'll do that. And then we'll see if we can make our escape. I'm assuming the demo is going to end there, unfortunately. But it's been a really good demo. I've actually really enjoyed myself. All right, so use the lift. All right, here we go. 
let's escape. Hopefully we can with our fur intact. All right, awesome. So I think, were we in this area before? I think we were, so now let's escape. All right, we made it. Good job, Mr. Raccoon. He did a good job. All right, awesome. He's just cleaning himself up. Oh, he's puking. I guess that's to be expected after seeing a dead body though. I've never seen one myself, don't know how I would react, but it would probably be that way, most likely. I really enjoyed that. That was really fun. Um, I didn't know what, what to expect going into this. I knew, like, I know I love point and click games, but like the last one when I played the demo for Metropolis, I didn't get into that one. So some point and click games just don't really click with me, but this one definitely did. I really enjoyed this one. This is really awesome. I'm definitely gonna wish list this one. Have you also tried this game out? I would love to hear your thoughts on this game. I just wanna say a huge thank you to all of my Patreons. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I really appreciate that. And if you are interested in donating, there will be a link in the description box below to my Patreon page. It's only $1 a month to gain access and I'm currently uploading exclusive anime review videos only on Patreon. Thank you for watching, please comment, rate and subscribe and I hope I'll see you next time!